Hello there, it's Saturday the 9th of September 2017. Welcome along boys and girls, another United Kingdom talk. A uh, couple of you are wondering, where are the live shows at the moment? Well, the fact is, when I go away from holiday, if it's, if it's any more than one day, it completely mucks up my, um, my schedule. And... I'm just doing so much all the time, trying to catch up with this, trying to do that. This morning, Saturday morning, I've recorded my uh, music and chat show uh, for Monday. So that's all all in the can now, boys and girls. Uh, what am I playing for you this week? I'll tell you what I'm playing. Uh, Barry Manilow, It's a Miracle. We've got uh, Land of Hope and Glory. Because, of course, you know, tonight's the night, boys and girls. Tonight, I am going to Last Night of the Proms at the Royal Albert Hall. I've got this. Uh, yes, I will be wearing this. I'm not sure. Does that look all right under this? I don't think it does. I think I, I possibly a what I might have. I got time to rush out to our brand new Primark here in Bracknell. I might have to get a white shirt. I don't know if I've got time to get one. I, 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 this don't suit. This don't work, does it? That doesn't work at all. Anyway, I'm going to wear this. I found I've discovered two large Union Jacks. It jacks uh, Union flags rather in my cupboard. There, are, there is a normal one. Hello, are you still there? You may remember that. Regular viewers of the show will remember... Oh, look, I can, look at that. Um, it's like, I could be a nun. I could be a nun. I could be a nun. Look, look. Harry, Mary. Yes, I could be a nun with that. So I've got my Union Jack. I've actually got two because my mate's coming with us. Uh, Union Jack there. And this one which you may remember hanging behind me a few years ago. There we are. That's the one with the Queen celebrating her... Is it the Diamond Jubilee? Yeah, Diamond Jubilee. So it's, I think I'm going to have that one. And I'll give my mate the other one. And we will be there with these around our shoulders, singing those song, songs. Rule Britannia, Britannia. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And to add to it, what's the time now? It's 20 past 12. He's coming around picking me up about quarter past one. Because I'm having a bit of trouble with eBay. He's got to help me with eBay. And then we're going into uh, London. We've got afternoon tea booked at another hotel. Don't worry. The United Kingdom Talk television cameras will be covering the event in full. Although I very, very much doubt we'll be able to get, get any pictures from the Royal Albert Hall for you. At least while the, um, while the performance is happening. Because it's all live on the telly, you know. Oh, yes. I'm going to be as, as outrageous as possible. I want to be tonight on BBC one colour. I want one of those slow zooms into my into my flags and Union Jack thing. We've got to have that. Tomorrow. I hope there won't be any of those nasty old European flags in there anywhere. They will be dragged out of people's hands and trampled on the floor. We're not having any European Union flags. Not in the Royal Albert Hall. Thank you very much, dear. No. I'm hoping, will I be on telly? Will I be one of those that are uh, picked out and slow zoomed in on while I am singing? Da, 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 those feet in ancient times walk upon England's mountains. I'm ready, dear. I am ready. But he's coming round here early because I'm having a bit of a problem with eBay. Can't remember if I told you, but I ordered something. It's arrived. It's it's the wrong thing to work with what I've got. And the, the, the emails are going backwards and forth. And they're pleasant enough that the bloke doesn't want to give me a refund. And I, I'm it says, ask eBay to get involved. And you just go round and round in circles. I can't find how to do it. You click, oh, refund it, and it takes you back round to that, and then, oh, it's doing my blooming head in. So Ron is quite good at that sort of thing. So he's coming round here um, to help me with the eBay thing, and fingers crossed with that, all right? So uh, that, that's why there's no live shows at the moment. Really, really busy at the moment. I'm hoping maybe... Uh, Maybe sometime Monday, maybe Monday afternoon, maybe tomorrow afternoon even. Maybe Sunday afternoon or Monday afternoon. I hope to be back with a, a, a live show and then we're, 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 we'll be kind of be caught up with everything, you know. It, it really does. When I go away for a few days, I just don't know where I am. <laughs> it, it's terrible, terrible. And of course, the washing's the washing hasn't been done yet. That's there waiting for a dry day. Rain, rain, rain. That's all we get here, isn't it? So that's that. Uh, glad you enjoyed the uh, videos of the shopping centre, the brand new Bracknell shopping centre, which I showed you yesterday. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, I was surprised at the amount of security staff they've got walking around everywhere. 
I mean, there's loads of them. I don't know what all that's about, it, whether that's just when it's, you know, newly opened or something like that. But so many security staff. And we did bump into, you probably didn't see that, but there was a like a promotional video done on the day of opening by some fat queen deer with the most, with a dreadful hair, like a Mohican, great big fat thing he was. He was he's only, he's only young, he's about 25 years old. And, oh, hello and welcome to the lexicon. <laughs> oh, go away, you annoying man. Well, we only walked past him. And I, 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 I nudged Ronnie. I said to him, I bet you, he wants you to go up to him now and say, oh, we saw your video. We thought it was really good. I don't think so, darling. Awful. Oh, and look at all the balloons. Aren't they lovely? Shut up and get out of the way. We want to do our shopping, dear. Go away. Did any, did any of you see that? It was sent to me by um, uh, my uh, my sister's sister-in-law, Kimmy. This, 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 <laughs> actually, I'll post it on my wall. In fact, by the time you've seen this, it, you will have already seen it at the top of my wall, okay? What do you think of him? Ain't he annoying? And for Christ's sake, go on a diet, love. Do something with your hair and do yourself a... How can you have someone like that opening a shopping centre? You know, obviously they didn't know I was on holiday. They probably would have asked. Had had I have not been on holiday, I reckon someone told them I was on holiday, so I wasn't available. That's that's the only thing I can think of, dear. Land of hope and glory. Yeah, that would be it. Oh, God, just dreadful, dreadful. Uh, nice to see some new karaoke faces uh, coming along last night to Central Station. It's always, always nice to see new people joining us, as well as the... Um, uh, regulars, of course. Some of the regulars weren't there last night. Um, but uh, especially, I'd like to say hello to Alan and Winnie. Alan and Winnie. And they're so they're so quiet. They sit in the corner. They had a meal in there last night. Lovely, uh, 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 lovely people who came up and sung several songs each show last night. So lovely to meet you, Alan and Winnie. And welcome along to our little karaoke clan. Oh, that sounds good. Though. Karaoke clan. It'll be it'll have to be with a K. KK. Oh, not not KKK. Klu Klux Klan. Oh no, dear. They got the. Why do they wear funny hats? I mean, notice that those ghastly people, the Klu Klux Klan, dear. They <laughs> those strange conical hats. What do they look like, dear? Honestly, if you want more members, I think you're going to have to change your costumes and your attitude towards other people, lovey. Klu Klux Klan. KK. No, I don't think we can call it KK, can we then? Because that's too close to KKK. That really is. But nice. Welcome along, my darlings. Um, those of you that watch the uh, uh, karaoke stream on the internet, we're having uh, connection problems at the moment. It's actually been going on all week with the uh, network provider 3. And I gather they're still working on it at the moment. Um, so that's why we kept uh, losing the signal last night. I don't know how much longer that's going to carry on for, but it's taken them about a week so far to sort that out. It's just one of those things, unfortunately. You know, technology doesn't always work. Um, and indeed, when I was on holiday, I mentioned to you that I had no internet in the caravan and no phone. Well, this all seems to be part of the the, the country-wide problem that three are having, the three, the network provider, are having at the moment. And indeed, now and again, that the, the phone started working in the caravan. So I don't think I was in a dead spot at all. It was just a fault at the time. And, you know, I accept that. You know, things go wrong. Honestly, you want to see some of these three users on the Twitter thing. You know, oh, three's been down for three whole hours. I want compensation. I'll do us a favour. You know, if I was three, I'd just say, look, it's the money. There's a the phone. Go away. We don't want you as a customer. For God's sake, why don't people understand anywhere anymore that things do go wrong? You know, you might have a bad arm, go into the hospital and they remove the wrong one. It's just the way it is. No need to sit there and moan and moan and moan. I couldn't believe it. Even Ben Parker, international cabaret host who I hold in great esteem, took the opposing view to me and said, if you were doing an online karaoke, sing to the world, he said, I bet you'd claim for compensation if it went down halfway through a gig. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. It's just one of those things. I can't believe that with you, Ben. Come on. You haven't gone into that blame culture, have you, my darling? I don't believe you have, my love. You're very easy going. The same as me. Easy, that's me. 
Mm. Uh, a little item of news. It's only going to be a little show today, boys and girls, because I must get ready for my mate to come around. A uh, couple of items of news. Now, I don't know what you think about this. Let students sit exams with iPads. In the Daily Mail this morning, uh, Cambridge University is considering letting students take exams on laptops and iPads because they rarely use the lost art of handwriting during their studies. They can't even write now! They can't even write now. Now, I've seen a lot of university people. I see a lot of them out and about. And I've got to tell you, most of them are as thick as planks when it comes to social skills. Intelligently, I don't know. I mean, probably they're far, far more intelligent than me. But actually talking to people out of their little group of little university friends, they can't do it. Well, they can't even write either, according to the Daily Mail. Students who struggle to write by hand. I can't believe that. In the mail, students who struggle to write by hand or need extra time in exams are already allowed to use laptops. But this could soon become more widespread rather than exceptional. Isn't that the first thing you learn at school to write? And these people, 18, 19, 20, they can't write. That's how it looks to me, the story. The university's review is part of, is part of its digital strategy, 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 strategy for education, which aims to introduce technology that supports teaching and learning. A uh, history lecturer said handwriting was becoming a lost art. This is just amazing. I'm amazed. She told the Daily Telegraph 15 or 20 years ago, students routinely have written by hand several hours a day. But now they write virtually nothing by hand except, except exams. Um, as a faculty, we've been concerned for years about a declining handwriting problem. There has definitely been a downward trend. Well, that, that's down to the primary schools, isn't it? There's been a definite downward trend. It's difficult for both the students and the examiners as it's harder and harder to read these scripts. What, well, have you ever been to a doctor's surgery, dear? You can't read them either. What is that code that they write? I think, I think when you go to a doctor's surgery, you're actually much more ill than you think you are. Therefore, the doctor writes in a code so as not to upset you. I reckon that's what it is. They can't write. One former student told the mail, I did all my exams on laptops. It really helped me, but it makes me, but it makes being able to touch type essential. Another said, I think that being able to go back and change your essay, which you can't do when writing, would make things harder as people would run out of time trying to create the perfect answer. I mean, I don't know what you think about that. I think they should, should stop doing exams in universities and start teaching people how to write again. I, I, I'm I just astounded by that, by that story, really, that, that students are having trouble writing. I mean, I don't know, but that's all different. I suppose perhaps time's moved on and we're missing the point here as, as some of the older people uh, watching the show. Are we missing something here, older people? Do you think? The over over 45, shall we say? Is this just how it's going to be? People won't be able to write. Is it? Is it that, you know, if this is happening now, in 20 years, will no one be writing anymore? Will it all just tut, 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 like that all the time? Will it, is, that, is that how it's going to be? Very, very strange. Very strange indeed. Um, one more story for you today, boys and girls, and then we'll do today's birthdays. Uh, do you sleep with your dog? I used to sleep with my cats. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, when I had my flat in Wandsworth, I had two cats there, uh, Tiny and JD. And uh, JD, she she was asleep. They both used to sleep in the bed with me. Honestly, pairing away. <laughs> and I stopped it one night. This cat, honestly, it was lying next to me like that. And it was pushing me over with its paws, trying to push me out of the bed. So I took her out of the bed. She didn't get back in there after that. And uh, Katie, of course, who I lost recently, she used to, a couple of years ago, not recently, but a few years ago, she used to sleep next to me, right next to my face. I could feel her breath on my lip. That's how close she was. It's lovely sleeping with your pets, isn't it? Do you like it? My sister sleeps with all her dogs. I don't know why there's enough room in the bed for the lot of them, dear. <laughs> the entire lot of them sleep in the bed, in one bed. Anyway, again in the mail this morning, if you think that having a dog in the bedroom 
task while you sleep is a distraction, you're barking up the wrong tree, it says. A new study has found that sleeping with a dog, whether it's a chihuahua or a Great Dane, helped people sleep better. And I've got to tell you, when my cat Katie was sleeping with me, I, I used to actually look forward to coming home and sleeping with her. That's absolutely true, that is. I'd be in my car, oh, can't wait to get into my bed with, with the cat next to me. Isn't it funny? Well, the Daily Mail says this is a good thing. Uh, not the Daily Mail, the researchers the Daily Mail are writing around. Um, the research suggests that sleeping with pets brings comfort and a sense of security to people, helping them to sleep easy. Researchers from the Center of Sleep Medicine in Arizona uh, looked at the effect of sleeping with a pet on sleep quality. And one of the doctors says most people assume having pets in the bedroom is a disruption. We found that many people actually find comfort and a sense of security from sleeping with a pet. Well, I certainly found comfort sleeping with my Katie cat. I did. The study involved uh, 40 healthy adults who had their sleep. Eva well, it's not many, is it? 40. It's hardly a study, is it? Come on, for, uh, add an ought to that at least. 40 healthy adult, adults who had, had their sleep evaluated with a dog in the bed over five months. Both the participants and the dogs wore activity trackers. The results revealed that sleeping with dogs helped some people to sleep better despite the breed of dog. So it doesn't matter the breed of dog. It doesn't matter. So there you are. If you want a nice, peaceful night's sleep, get that pit pet in your bed. I wouldn't recommend goldfish. I'm not sure that goldfish or pr m pretty though they are, tropical fish, angelfish, something like that, probably not a good idea to have those in the bed. All right, my darlings? <laughs> Go on, sleep with your pet. All right, let's do today's birthdays. And we've got Carla Scent, a piano player. Carla sent a brand new version of the Happy Birthday song in for us. So we're going to play that today, boys and girls, and wish uh, our people happy birthday here. Happy birthday today to Ricardo, who used to come along to our karaoke night. I haven't seen him for so long, Ricardo. I do miss our little cuddles at the bar. I really do. Uh, Andrew Cotty today is 33 years old today. Happy birthday, Andrew. And Stephen Griffin today is 34 years old today. So happy birthday to you all. Uh, here we go, boys and girls. Happy birthday. Oh, I, I don't... Happy birthday to you. I'm not used to this version. Here we go, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ricardo, Andrew and Stephen. Happy birthday to you. To you. Uh, to you. Oh, no. That's Carl. Thank you very much for sending that in. That's very kind of you to send me in two versions of that. Um, I'll try the other one. Let's go back to this one, though. Anyway, thank you, Carl. Much appreciated. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ricardo, Andrew, and Stephen. Happy birthday to you. Have a wonderful birthday on this Saturday. And I must go and get ready now for last night of the proms. Thank you very much for watching and listening. I'll see you soon. Land of hope and glory. Mother of the sea.